Today, our communities face a growing number of transportation challenges. As traffic volumes grow and congestion worsens, motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists confront greater risks at intersections. We need balanced solutions that improve safety and keep people moving. At the Federal Highway Administration, our first priority is safety. And our mission is to improve mobility for all users of our nation's highways. In support of these goals, we've been evaluating innovative intersection designs for many years. Where they've been built, travelers save time, agencies save money, and communities benefit from safer facilities. One innovative intersection design, the restricted crossing U-turn, can dramatically reduce crashes related to crossing and turning left at intersections along busy, multi-lane highways. At many intersections, the critical question is how to address left turns. How they are treated has an impact on the efficiency of the intersection and can reduce a crash type that tends to be quite severe. Alternative intersections are, are worth considering because they deliver more for less. They, they get more cars through the same spaces than a conventional intersection and they deliver better safety than a conventional intersection. The restricted crossing U-turn or R-cut intersection, also known as a J-turn or super street, changes how traffic from the minor road enters or crosses the main highway by relying on a combination of right turns and U-turns. Multi-lane high-speed divided highways function as vital economic links between cities and communities, reducing travel times and improving safety for longer distance trips. However, along these routes, access for local residents and adjacent businesses is also important. Intersections, while providing this access, can be challenging in these environments. Motorists crossing the highway or turning left from the minor road must gauge traffic approaching in both directions across a wide area, a difficult task when speeds are high. Should a crash occur, the result can be deadly. The R-cut is an intersection design that provides access in a much safer way, while also improving operations along the highway. Let's take a closer look at an example of an unsignalized R-cut, sometimes called a J-turn, in a typical rural setting. Notice that traffic traveling along the main highway can still continue through turn left or turn right at the intersection, no different than at a conventional intersection. Where an R-cut differs is in how it handles vehicles entering or crossing the main highway from the minor road approaches. Channelizing islands at the intersections force the minor road traffic to turn right, joining the traffic on the main highway. Shortly thereafter, a median U-turn allows the minor road traffic to proceed in the opposite direction, the equivalent of a left turn, or to then turn right and continue travel along their original minor route, the equivalent of crossing the main highway at a conventional intersection. By eliminating two of the highest risk movements from the intersection and replacing them with U-turns and right turns, safety is substantially improved. The total number of conflict points are reduced, and those that remain are less significant. Most importantly, studies show that injury crashes are reduced more than 40%, and fatal crashes are reduced 70% compared to conventional intersections. One of the trade-offs with R-cut intersections is that vehicles entering from the minor road travel slightly longer distances as compared to a conventional intersection. However, when R-cuts are implemented along a signalized corridor, the average travel times can actually improve, hence the name Super Street. There is a reliability aspect where the, the Super Street will reliably give better performance to everybody on that corridor, and so the a little bit added inconvenience outweighs the, the greater capacity benefits and also the safety benefits. Super, uh, super Streets are very safe corridor. One of the unique features of the signalized R-cut or Super Street corridor is the ability to synchronize traffic from one intersection to the next, 
easily adapting signal timing to heavy or light traffic volumes. One of the nice things about Super Streets and really where the name came from is that you separate the two main directions of travel on your, on your main artery. So what you've done is created two one-way streets. And since they're all two-phase signals, you also reduce the cycle length which also increases the efficiency, and you have the drivers on the side street waiting a lot less than they would at a traditional eight-phase signal. Arcot intersections have been built with pedestrian facilities, including marked crosswalks, refuge islands, and pedestrian signals. Whether signalized or unsignalized, the R-cut can be an excellent choice for intersections along divided highway corridors. Not only is it safer, the R-cut can be a cost-effective choice for locations where additional capacity or even a full interchange may be needed in the future. One of the beauties of the Super Street is the flexibility you have in implementing it. Uh, you can take a 30-year design life for a super street and you can go ahead and acquire the right-of-way and put in the asphalt for the dual left turns and the dual U-turn movements and all of the other things that you, you may need in that 30-year time frame. The Federal Highway Administration encourages communities and agencies to consider the restricted crossing U-turn to improve the safety and efficiency of existing intersections as well as an option for new intersections. For more information about the restricted crossing U-turn and other innovative intersection designs, please visit safety.fhwa.dot.gov.